I love the football family, I, I love talking to people in football, I love the privilege that comes with the job. Uh, but it's simple, we could put down coats for goalposts here, and we get a ball, and we could have a game. Every, it's for everybody, and, and you don't need, you don't need to know too much about it. There's a goal, you've got to try and put the ball in that goal, and there's another goal, you've got to stop them trying to put that, the ball in, in the goal that you are. So, you know, everybody, it's a universal language, and, and I've been amazed traveling the, the globe, how, how easy it is to strike up a conversation with people who have no words of English, and I have no words of, I don't know, Mandarin or something like that, and you can make each other understood. I think um, the special moment is being asked to go. You know, you're very like a player as a commentator. You, know, uh, you, you, you either get the call or you don't. And the first one I actually went to, I worked on 74 in the studios here in London. At very June, it was my, the end of my first season in television. And I was just, um, just it was actually quite important at the time, editorial assistant, I, there are a lot of editorial assistants out there, some of whom might be watching this, and I don't want to minimize how important their role is. Um, but it wasn't, obviously as a, as a commentator, 78 was the first one, and I suppose that was a very special thing to be, to join, at least, at least I'd done one, you know, that's what I, I was very much the junior. And, um, you know, it kicked on from there really. But you, as a commentator, you look forward rather than back. I've never written a book. I've had a lot of people ask me to write books. I've got a bit in the laptop in there, a sort of like stab at it, but I don't like looking back. I like looking forward. My job is to do the next game. The last game's done. I can't change that. It's live. I can't change it. So you soon get that out of your system where you would like to change it every game you've done. It's a, you're trying to seek a perfection that can't be achieved, you know? And uh, so, no, I got a call from Ken Chip at SBS and this time and he said, do you want to come again? And yes, please. So that's, that's, that's the special moment for me.